today I want to or teach you about uh, balancing chemical reactions okay so this is the introductory part we'll be explaining the balancing of our chemical equations as if uh, you have never been introduced to this before okay so this will be an introductory topic if you're doing combined science there's a reason we are doing uh, this video and the reason is so that the processes that you study in combined science, for example, Haber process, our contact process, or the reduction of iron in the blast furnace, as well as photosynthesis and um, uh, respiration. These processes, they, they can make sense uh, if you know how to balance our chemical our equations, okay? Especially how they are often written, okay? So I want you to understand uh, very carefully. So that these are just random equations that I, I got and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to illustrate using some of them and then we're going to relate to the actual equations that we want okay so for example the, the first reaction that we want to be able to balance is the Albert process okay so the Albert process uh, the manufacture of ammonia so it would be nitrogen gas plus hydrogen gas like this and then we'd get um, this this one it's actually a reversible reaction okay so uh you'd be you'd be having one arrow going there and then another arrow coming there uh nh3 okay the reversible doesn't mean that it's i can be uh, reversed it actually means that uh is the process is the reaction this one with the reactants going for, is going forward this one is also breaking down to our uh, form nitrogen and, and hydrogen okay so it's going in both directions uh so uh, to be, before we do this, let's uh, actually attempt uh, uh, one, one of these. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, with this one A. So the idea of balancing chemical reactions, it comes from two laws. If you're doing chemistry, uh, pure chemistry, then you, you should know these laws. The first one is called uh, the law of definite proportions. Okay, so the law of definite proportions, it tells us that whenever you you have um, a, a compound or a molecule this molecule it's always formed in definite proportions of the constituent atoms okay so for example iron chloride here, iron 3 chloride you always find it as FeCl3 you never find it in any other um, proportion okay so you have one atom of iron and then three atoms of, uh, of chlorine in every molecule uh, in this case it'd be in every formula okay if molecule would be non-metals uh, for example this one would be uh, two iron atoms two three oxygen atoms okay forming this formula here so it's definite the proportion is very definite okay so uh, that's one of the and then the other one is called uh, the law of conservation of mass okay so conservation of mass so conservation of mass you might be familiar with it already mass is conserved so in a reaction we are not dealing with uh, we're not touching the nucleus in any way this is a physical reaction so the mass that we start with with the, uh, with the reactants it has to be the mass that we see with the products especially if we um, put the correct proportions for the reactants okay so for example this one ion and chlorine if you're doing this process you should know to someone who is um, a chemical engineer they want to manufacture let's say iron or uh, three chloride for a certain purpose they have to know what proportions they should put and then this proportion it's proportion by number of moles okay so number of moles that's the proportion that we are dealing with the numbers that we are going to put here they are called um, stoichiometry metric coefficients okay so they're called stoichiometric coefficients so it's simply if you still remember in mathematics we had coefficients the numbers that will be are uh, in front of a of a, um, of a term okay so if it's x then that the one would be the coefficient so the coefficient that we put here the in front of uh, the element or the molecule that's your stoichiometric coefficient uh, this stoichiometric, it's it's a uh, it's simply stoichiometry. It's it's a buzzword to say, uh, you know, this practice that we constantly do in chemistry to investigate quantities. So what you're supposed to commit to memory here is, you are a chemical engineer and you want to decide what proportion 
by number of moles. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. If you're doing co combined signs, then you can ignore uh, the number of moles part. But what proportion are you going to put the iron and the chlorine? Okay. So, so what, what, what you do now is uh, you, in, you investigate the number of, if you, for a balanced equation, it has two conditions. Okay. The first condition is that the number, you can write number of atoms of each element is the same on both sides, okay? The equation, okay? So we are balancing for, for each um, uh, element here and the other one is that the charge is balanced this this the second one we we don't we are we're not going to focus on it we're going to focus it in separate video for those who are studying chemistry but then the charge is balanced just just commit uh, to memory those two conditions okay for a balanced reaction test you have these two things going for it so for example here we have iron and then we have iron so it's simply one is to one here this is good Okay, so it means that ion is balanced. But then the chlorine, now we have two atoms of chlorine here, and then we have uh, three atoms of chlorine here. So we have a problem. We have to make uh, the chlorine balance. So this, you can do this in one step. Uh, if, you're, if you're really good at math, what you do is um, here you recognize that oh, you have two, two here, so you, uh, it's just chlorine. So you have an opportunity. When, whenever you have... Um, a standalone element or standalone molecule it's an opportunity for you to balance the reaction so you can actually balance reaction in one step here so it would be three over two so two here would be um if uh, we say half then th this becomes just a single chlorine and then multiply by three then this becomes three uh, chlorine um atoms okay so normally they, they don't want you to uh, leave this as a fraction. You don't have uh, to have uh, uh, stoichiometric coefficients that are fractions. Okay, it's possible, but then uh, it's not desirable. Most of the times they will tell you that they have to be whole numbers. Okay, so what you do here is you multiply throughout by 2. Why 2? Because 2 is the denominator here. So it's the, it's the lowest common multiple for all the denominators for the coefficients here. So remember our equation is balanced, ion is ion, and then you know, two, three, three uh, atoms of chlorine on both sides. But then we just want to clear this uh, fraction here. So we have to multiply throughout by two. So you get two Fe here, okay. So plus, then here you, you simply get three chloride like this. And then you get um, Fe, Cl, three like this, okay. Multiply by two, of course, since you're multiplying throughout by two. Now, uh, notice that iron is balanced. You have two atoms of iron. You have two atoms of iron here. And then chlorine, it's also balanced. You have six here, as in two, by this three atoms here. So six, then here you also have six, okay? So this would be your balanced reaction. So your balanced reaction or your balanced equation. Another way to uh, go about doing the same things, because some, some people, they are really afraid of uh, fractions so you want to avoid them but then uh you know you should be uh, careful so here this chlorine and then this this ion they provide uh, an opportunity for us to balance reactions if you're balancing a reaction you see standalone elements or standalone molecules it's a good thing those are the opportunities for us to balance okay so here you want um here you have an even number so you want this one to be an even number as well so we can uh, say two here and then this one would be six, right? So it'd be three chlorine atoms by the multiplier, which is two. So it'd be six chlorine atoms, okay? So if it's six chlorine atoms, we can come here and then put three here. Now we have six and six. And then the iron, now we have two. So we have to make two here as well. Okay, so this one would be the, the balanced uh, equation. Okay, so there's one way to go about it. The so first one, that one was more mathy. But then this one, it's it's kind of, uh, you know, laid back a little bit. If you understood this one, then just go with this one. Remember, the bottom line is the number of atoms of each element on both sides must be must be uh, the same, okay? So, 
Oh, uh, here. Let, let me let me actually lift this because we don't we don't need to uh, uh, redo this part. Okay. So here for the upper process, what you be having here is um, you have nitrogen. You have two nitrogen uh, atoms here. Then you have one nitrogen atom. So they are not in balance. You have two hydrogen atoms. Then you have three hydrogen atoms. So they are not in balance as well. Recognize the opportunities. The opportunities for balancing our equations. They are with hydrogen and with with nitrogen. Okay. So you can actually first temper with this one in the same sense that we are first tempered with this one. This one is what you want to first temper with. So here recognize that you have uh, even numbers. So if you put two here, then you have even numbers for both. Okay. So you actually have two nitrogen atoms here. Then these are two nitrogen atoms as well. And um, you have um, uh, six hydrogen atoms here. So you need to fix this. So how do you fix this? If you have six here, you have uh, H2 here. In order to make H2 six atoms, then you have to multiply by, by three here. So the multiply the coefficient would be would be three. Okay. This means one more of nitrogen must be mixed with three moles of hydrogen gas. Okay. That's one of them. Uh, that's the main condition in the in the upper process. This is how you're supposed to mix them up so that uh, you know you don't have any waste and also so that um, your reaction is it's, it's well balanced. So this this is um, what what, what you be having okay so this is why we have this stoichiometric coefficients here we can also try for this one this one is similar to this one so we can balance it in the same way that that, that we did uh, the previous one okay so here iron it's um it's not balanced okay so you actually have uh, two here then you have one here so you actually have the opportunity for for balancing it with these two here so you can actually say two here okay then oxygen oxygen here you have three atoms here you have two atoms so you can do again what we did so three over two like this so you clear the fractions how by multiplying by the lcm for the denominators it's uh, simply two okay so you multiply this one by two you get four fe plus then three o2 then we get fe two here since we are multiplying throughout by by two, okay, each and every term. So here you can you can see that ion has four atoms here, and uh, ion on the left hand side, um, we have four atoms here. And um, here are uh, you have six uh, atoms of oxygen. Then you have six atoms of oxygen as well. Okay, so this this one would be one way to go about it. Let's also look at uh, the the other alternative. If um, you got the second one. Uh, that we did for the first for the first uh, question here, so here you'd be saying you need um, uh, you can say you need an an even number here uh, to have a multiplier here, you need an even even number here. Okay, so here you can put two such that this one is four, this one would be six. So if this one is six, then you can say three here, and then this one would be would be four. So this one would be just before. Okay. So this is this is the reaction form for the rusting of uh, of, uh, of of iron. Okay, this is the simplest, most basic uh, reaction for the rusting of of iron. So uh, this is just about it. And um, what 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 we're going to do is we're going to uh, balance one more reaction for for uh, photosynthesis. But then we'll do that uh, in a later video. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers.